Oh, you idiot. Oh, I can always find a way to waste a perfect drive. Hey guys, Rick here with uh, Old Tom Morris, which can only mean one thing. We're in Scotland. No, we're in Las Vegas. This is Royal Lynx. This is a composite course of the Open Championship Rota courses. Everything from the road hole to the postage stamp. There's a replica of the Swolken Bridge over there. So it uh, should be a very fun and interesting day to see if they can bring Lynx, true Lynx style golf to Las Vegas. The Swolken Bridge. At St. Andrews, it, it, it connects the first and the 18th fairway, 700 years old. It's how they used to move livestock here off the first tee box. Most people sit on it and get a photo. This is my Swolken Bridge photo. Oh my God, am I gonna make a putt? Like, am I gonna make any putts? The, I, this, this is so different than anything I've ever seen. I'm so scared. Okay. Cart path relief. I can't even see the green. Oh my gosh, this is filthy. Look at the mud ball, mud ball. It seems like it was underground for like 10 days. Hit one shot with it. Oh my God. I think it's gonna be short. Short and to the right maybe. Thanks. So you can already tell there's gonna be a ton of blind shots on this hole. Look at this bunker. That's probably like the most shallow of these bunkers. Um, I think he said there's 108 out on the golf course, including all the famous ones from, you know, Hell Bunker and the Road Hole and stuff like that. So um, I'm a little bit nervous, a little bit nervous. Well, that's the right side, Marv. <laughs> I'm on the right, yeah. <laughs> I never saw it. Right into the sun, I have no idea. Well, trivia. How many courses are on the Open Championship Rota? I'll wait, think about it. You can throw it in the comments if you want. 10. Hmm. I think there's 11 different courses at Royal Link, some of them are all like like Presswick, you know, hasn't been used in a while. Um, Turnberry, I don't know if it's no longer on the Rota or if they just haven't announced the next date yet, but 10 currently in the Rota. This is what we came here for. Yeah. You should watch out. Oh right over here. Yeah. Oh, mama. Okay. Right there, <laughs> right underneath of it. That was devilish. Oh. Wow, I don't even need my putter for that, do I? My hand. I've already used it once on this hole. Okay, well, I'm gonna take a double there, a six. Two was in the thick stuff by the rough. I whiffed on it, there was no way I was gonna move it out. I'll take four out, five was the chip down, six was the tap in, the, the six incher. Uh, that is a very, very dirty double to make on a hole that like I didn't play all that poorly. <laughs> right over the highway, just like Scotland. <laughs> I mean, this is kind of cool. Look at that. Ah. Get down. Okay. Spin. Okay. 
turn. Thank you. Oh, it's so thick. I hope it's not a bunker. That wasn't very good. Stay up. Stay up. Oh. So the next hole we're going to is number five, but it is number 12 from St. Andrews. So if you remember, this is the shortest par four at St. Andrews, but 2010 for the Open Championship, more bogeys than birdies at this hole. So should be probably pretty demanding and pretty tough. So pretty amazing that you can get a, a hole that looks like St. Andrews, but the strat is there. And I don't know if you can see it, but actually you can see the wind as well over to the left. That'll be fun. Oh boy. Yeah, that was one of the, that was one of the risks. <sighs> Trying to get it up that fast. Thanks. Well, I contributed to the bogey statistic. Okay, thanks. Oh, you idiot. Oh, I can always find a way to waste a perfect drive. That was a great drive. Oh my gosh. Thanks. Oh yeah, mama. So, how does a course get the name Royal? I looked it up, it's basically BS. You like ask the monarch about it, he gives it to you, but there's only like 69 courses in the world. Or she. Or she, I guess. Royal something, Royal St. George's, Royal Lytham. Royal Liverpool. Uh, there's two in New Zealand. There's like six in Canada. So, Australia, Royal Melbourne. Yeah. That's your little fun fact of the day. bogey train rolls on. Watch your step up here. This is the postage stamp. Very familiar hole, everybody knows this one. Go. Get there. It's gotta go. Oh no! Uh, yeah, just go straight up and hit it far enough to get it on the green and... Oh boy. I don't know where this is going, but...
Oh, wow. Spin. Oh, I actually hit it too good. Wow, I can't believe that came wow, out. that was really good. That's the greenside bunker that, that viral video of Rory McIlroy where it took him six shots to get out in a practice round. That's, that's the one. Although I don't remember it being, it was more shaved down here. Oh, it's gotta go right. I misread that. Bogey. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, after all that waiting. Oh, that's what I didn't want to do. Be the number. It's a whole club short. I'm boiling. How? It's fucking downwind. Is it downwind? Or am I into the wind? here either after I, I just all right par doesn't matter score doesn't matter I need the John Rom like just vent it get it out and like move on An absolutely grueling front nine 44, which is eight over par. And I didn't think I played all that poorly. It's just, if you're a little bit out of position, just a little bit off, you are in big trouble here at Royal Lynx. And there's not much of a reprieve coming because we are headed to the road hole. That's right. The number 10 hole here at Royal Lynx is mimicked after the 17th at St. Andrews, widely considered one of the most difficult par fours in the world. While normally the tee shot at St. Andrews, you'd be hitting over a hotel. There is no hotel here, but you're hitting over a scoreboard to kind of give you the same visual and the same effect. So hopefully we can turn things around here on the second nine. Oh, might be, that's too far right, I think. Okay. It's fine, there's like a million miles of room over there. The road hole. I mean, be the number, I think. I like the line. I think it's on the middle, the road hole. Driver six iron, no big deal. Don't let anybody tell you different. All right, so this is the wall. Remember Miguel Angel Jimenez up against the wall here. There was actually thick rough here, pops it off, off the wall onto the green. Uh, I would try it, but I'm not gonna mess up my club off this car path. Thank you. Par. Thanks. You know, that's your old par on the hardest hole on the course, on the oldest course in the world. No big deal. Although also we're not in, I mean, we're not, we're not in Europe. We're in Las Vegas, but I'll take it. Yeah. I didn't know which way that broke, and I just said, I'll just hit it in the middle because I have no idea. Oh, okay. Oh, those bunkers are magnets. Stay short. Oh, I think it rolled in. Uh, they don't call me. Oh, you all right? Uh, yeah. They don't call me Rick running to bunkers. 
<laughs> nice. There's a little bit of mud ball, mud ball. It's left. I mean, I hit it hard, but it's left. So this is a Royal Burkdale hole. We might have a we might have a Jordan Speed situation. I might be on uh, the next hole over. <laughs> It went over, <laughs> over there. <laughs> Jeez. That was exciting. Oh, I think I saw one mini hop. Nothing like the world famous skyline at Prestwick of Resorts World and Encore. What do you think? I don't know, every shot, every shot is blind. I don't even know if it's good. Every shot is blind. Turn in. Oh. Oh, it's just hanging a little right. Be kick left. Uh, okay, that's fine. Little little chunky. When in Scotland, maybe putt this. Uh, I think I gotta chip it. That would be fun, but I think I gotta chip it. Just land it right there on the green. See that hill? Look at that. Kick it right over there. moving just sit down oh nice kick all right that's fine oh wow it's way above my feet my old baseball swing and that is why I didn't go pro routine fly out to deep short Slipped a little bit. It's going left, but that might be okay. I think it missed the green, but so that's you know, obviously I hit a bad shot, but one yard into this thick stuff is it's brutal, absolutely brutal. Very ugly. What? Just don't go in that bunker. Oh no, oh no. We'll see. This is 216 yards back into the wind. That's the lie. I'm not sure what club I can get on that. Um, I don't know. I really don't know. Maybe I can just knock it out with a four iron. Roll down the cart path. Oh, best shot I hit all day. Keep going. Oh no. Oh, it's a really good contact. Be the number, I'm just guessing. I think I flew it 10 yards over. Sit. It actually kind of did. One, two, free relief off the cart path. Three, four, on, five, past, six. Oh, that's the miss with this club. Way left. Oh, once off the cart path. I think just once off the cart path. Hmm, depending on how that released, that might be okay. 
Might be horrible though, I actually don't know. Thank you. All right, heading to 18 now, absolutely grueling day. It is uh, modeled after 14 at St. Andrews, which is the par five. You have to worry about hell bunker on your second shot. Just, um, it, it is, we're getting our butts kicked out here. Run, baby. Okay. I just waited all that time and dumped it. I don't know. Like, everything comes out knuckling out of this rough. I thought I hit it good. I, I can't. I can't tell where they come down. It's very, very frustrating. Very disconcerting. Everything just like that ball knuckled the whole way. I'm getting better at clipping those. Putt for par to win the Open Championship. The claret jug is on the line. 15 feet breaking from right to left. It's gonna take all the courage he has. Ah, missed it on the amateur side. Now I got this. That's a great way to end the, end the day. I gotta tell you, I'm exhausted. It's the most exhausted I've been uh, playing around golf in a long time. Out in 44, we talked about that. In in 42, I made double on the last, which was really ugly, so that's an 86. Um, it was a grind. I mean, I, I actually think sometimes the composite courses are a little bit gimmicky. They're a little bit hokey. It's almost impossible to try to take courses from Europe, Scotland, Ireland, and bring them to Las Vegas. Uh, and it's still hard to do, but they did a really great job and if you are not in the fairway you are dead if you miss a green uh, you can be in fescue and your ball goes all the way down to the bottom you saw that with a couple of the shots that I hit where I could barely even get a club on it so um, the the numbers just pile up in a big way uh, really really nice uh, course it was in great shape I'm, I'm I'm actually very impressed a lot of blind shots I think if you came back here you played it a second a third a fourth time uh, you would really learn a lot about where to hit the ball and, and, and the best way to play some of these holes. Um, I lost strokes almost across the board. Uh, four and a half on approach, down in the negative. I think I probably lost a ball or two contributing to a lot of that. Uh, lost one and a half around the greens and was basically a zero with the putter. I did drive it a lot better today. I gained 1.3 there, but um, that was a very challenging course that I had low expectations for because I didn't think they were going to be able to pull it off. A lot of really fun stuff. They did a great job. We'll be back.